Hi, so we're here at the Embedded World 2023, and uh, who are you? I'm Yves Klapplainen, Montavista Software. I do product management here globally. And I'm uh, Magnus Nimmel, I'm responsible for sales in, in Europe. So Montavista is doing the Linux, right? Yeah, we are actually, actually showing here our latest uh, Montavista Carrier Grid Express Linux 4.0. It's a, it's a pro commercial open source distribution. So what we do is long-term support, we do, do services. It's based on the 5.10 kernel, the Yocto 4.0 baseline, with the latest compilers. What we launched uh, this year at Embedded World is uh, the support for ARM system ready, and uh, our services and we secure for the EU Cybersecurity Act. So the idea is together with the CTX product, we can help customers reach the requirements of EU Cybersecurity Act with MV Secure. So you just have a USB stick, you plug it in, and you can boot Linux on any ARM device. It just works. Yeah, that's the idea of the ARM system, system ready. In, in our case, because it's a Yocto-based, source-based distribution, it's a, we have a reference BSP that is the idea of the, of the system ready approach. You build that, and then you get to that point when you put the USB stick in and, and boot. So we're yes. right here uh, next to the Yocto booth right here. Uh, so how is it different to, 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 to boot with the Montavista? Or what do you do to it? Compared to Yocto. Yeah, no, what do you... What do you um, what is a specific, when people choose to work with the Montevista, what is it's, the consideration? Uh, it's the Linux expertise. It's uh, the, the support for long term. So sometimes customers require specific support, like they have uh, set response times, service level agreements. We can do support on the long term. We can maintain one branch for 15 years even. It's a carry accurate distribution, so it builds on Yocto, but it, uh, it's kind of a super set. We add commercialization, we add testing, field maintenance, features, real time. And when I look at your um, banner down here, um, you talk about 5G, IoT, um, what is the NFV? There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, NFV, Network Function Virtualization. That's more like uh, on uh, going towards, maybe towards CGX is fit for that. We have another product called MV Shield, which is our support for CentOS uh, and Rocky. Uh, rail, rail compliant distributions, and uh, this this allows customers kind of uh, maybe better support for NFV. But CTX is for some NFV use cases. That's an applicable product as well for a kind of embedded edge nature in NFV. So I started video blogging in 2004, and it was the Arcos uh, uh, French product that changed the world. Everybody's copying them now. Everybody's have smartphones, and this was running Montevista Linux, I think. It was back then. Uh, uh, I think so. I can recall that particular product. Monta were you there? Montavista Linux. I remember the Argos product, yeah. You, you were in uh, 2004? Uh, 2007, unfortunately. But that, uh, we, when in 2007, the Montavista Linux kernel was still running in the majority of Linux phones, as far as I understand. So, that was uh, before Android. That was uh, yeah, you know, like years pre, pre, before. Yeah, pre-Android. And right. uh, pretty much, there was even app stores. There was a whole thing that they worked. I think it was using Qt. Utopia. Utopia, yeah. On top. Yeah, I think those were the days. Yeah, but then Android and uh, iOS changed uh, changed the mobile world scene. We used, we used to have a product called Mobile Linux that targeted mobile phones in particular. Now we focus on CGX, which is a kind of a horizontal embedded distribution suitable for many different types of embedded use cases. But what I'm saying is this 2004 Arcos device is maybe still supported. I'm joking. No, <laughs> no but that's very not. But you're we talking 15 years. We have uh, distributions that are still supported from that era. But it mostly actually today is the carrier grade distributions, it's more, more of the telecom infra, like uh, base stations and uh, core uh, core network devices that are currently still supported by Montevista. I think people want to upgrade their 65 nanometer ARM processor to uh, the latest three nanometer or something. Yeah. But so, but uh, so it's busy here. The better world. Lots of discussions. You, are you in millions and millions of devices? Yeah, Mon products? Monta Vista is, is being run in lots and lots of devices. I mean, uh, there's yeah, it's a, it's an interesting show. We have had lots of interesting discussions. I, w I would say at this show, it's security is the really key theme here. There's a lot of discussion about the EU Cybersecurity Act and what's happening. I, I was presenting about security yesterday. Uh, we, we can uh, put that up there on our website, so you can see that as a video later if uh, readers are interested. 
but uh, that's, that comes up a lot. A lot of people stop by the booth, they ask about like what can you do to help us with the security. So I think our announcement was pretty fit for that bill. When I look at the phone number, it's uh, American. So is it the US it's headquarters? A, it's a US company. And yeah. but do you, are you around? You don't live in the US or? No, I, I, I'm based in Finland, and uh, we, have, we have offices uh, globally in different locations. So uh, Sweden, Finland. Uh, What's happened in Sweden, Finland? Then? It, it's a lot of telecom uh, customers there. Yes, so it's right. we are in um, all the base stations, for example. Uh, but we're also in South Korea, we're in Japan, uh, in India. But the headquarters is in the US, uh, San Jose. There's going to be millions of new base stations. They're all going to be on power. They're all going to need Linux, yeah. and you might be in many of them. Yes. What's your market share? Can you say? That's, I mean, that's really hard to say. I mean, Linux is everywhere. Um, I, I don't know. Do you know what the market share could be? It's, it's really difficult because so many flavors of Linux, uh, how many of them are using a commercially managed distribution like Monta Vista? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the numbers. But there are not too many vendors that can provide similar solutions that we do carry great distributions. So I think we have a reasonable split of that market. I don't think I can give you those numbers. Or, uh, it's like uh, cool. but we are a major player there. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank do, you, you. do you also run on these huge ARM servers? We do, yeah. The, the biggest have. Ampere CPUs, the biggest uh, all this stuff? We, we focus more on the lower end ARM devices, but uh, Cavium and us uh, had, a, had a tight partnership before the acquisition with Marvel. So the Th Thier Thunder X was our reference at that point. But we are we are looking into that market closely. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot.